Charles, I think that the theme of the past two weeks really could be no one is above the law. Donald Trump was found guilty on all of his counts. Hunter Biden found guilty on all his counts. How does this impact the election? Because they are now both convicted felons, but only one is running for president here. You are so right. And I think, um, first of all, I'm always reminded that the best book about American politics, the best book about democracy, arguably, was written two centuries ago by a Frenchman who only spent 18 months in America, Alexis de Tocqueville. And de Tocqueville said, in America, every political argument ultimately becomes a court case. And boy, is that true. Uh, I think that what's been struck, let's talk about the two cases and how they're different. Uh, the first, you pointed out the key difference, which is Trump is running for office. Hunter is not. He's not a public official, never has been, not running for office. But Trump is. But I think, um, first, the uh, polling has shown no no difference at all uh, since that conviction. That's kind of surprising. But the fact that the polls don't show any uh, difference um, needs to be balanced against the fact that it could be, uh, in the last two elections, both elections have been decided by less than 100,000 votes total. And so even small differences, which you wouldn't pick up in a, in a random sample poll of 1,200 people or 800 people or whatever, those could be important. But I think a lot of people think that the Trump conviction uh, wasn't kosher. They, uh, and it's not just the constitutional complexities of it. It's that nobody else has ever been prosecuted like this for a federal election violation based on two uh, expired misdemeanor statutes. It looks like they went after the man, not the crime. And the fact that the person who did it ran on that makes that even more obvious. There's a constitutional question as to whether he was denied Sixth Amendment rights to know what he was being charged with. The underlying felony was never expl uh, explained in court testimony or in the filing. Uh, it was partly broached in the concluding arguments, uh, but only after the defense had rested and couldn't respond. Uh, so that's an issue. Uh, I would say that the bigger issue may relate to Hunter and the tax charges, which are coming up, because those relate to income that were part of the family operation to bring in money from foreign sources. And those didn't come from clean countries, generally. They weren't coming from England and Belgium right? They were coming from Ukraine and China and all of these places, and they were clearly built around uh, the centrality of Joe Biden as a key figure. So one of the issues that uh, I, I'm interested in seeing is whether uh, direct implication of Joe Biden occurs in uh, that trial. I suspect that the federal prosecuting attorneys will be extremely reluctant to mention the sitting president, but both look tarnished still. I don't think that these issues are the big issues before the electorate. I think that the economy, inflation, open border, crime, those are uh, dinner table, front door issues, and I think those will be the dominant 